Hallmark is famous for its heartwarming, magical rom-coms, but guess what? They also have some of the hottest actors you'd be drooling over. Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Gabby with Binge Now. Today we are giving you a rundown of the top 10 hottest Hallmark actors, so keep watching cause you don't want to miss out on this list. At number 10, we have Chad Michael Murray. You probably know him from his roles as Lucas Scott from One Tree Hill, and I mean, who did not have a crush on him growing up? The blonde hair and hazel eyes can charm anyone. Tattoo is very, very sexy. And he started his career in LA, modeling for brands such as Gucci and Tommy Hilfiger. His first ever real role was in the ever so famous show, Gilmore Girls, where he played Tristan Dugray. It was a nice kiss. Yeah? Very nice. Not at all crying material. Really? Absolutely. Want to try it again? Well, I think someone is recovering from their heartbreak just fine. Yeah, I'm all better. His role in One Tree Hill was one every girl was swooning over. He played Lucas Scott, a basketball player and an oh author. The entire time the guy's been in town, he's been pretending not to know Peyton. I'm sure he has his reasons. Bro, I came over here so that you could compliment me on knocking the guy out. Murray has also starred in many Hallmark movies with his debut being Road to Christmas back in 2018. He played the role of Danny Wise alongside Jesse Schramm. A cross-country Christmas. These pre-recorded segments should be about unique, interesting places that are doing cool Christmas things. Let's look into it. Since then, he has starred in five Hallmark movies and his recent film Fortress, Sniper's Eye, came out earlier this year. Deja vu, Robert. Here we are, together again, old friend. Reunite. Up next at number nine, we have Cameron Matheson. He too began his career as a model in commercials in Canada, the US, and even a few European ads. His first feature film was 54 in the year 1998, where he played the role of Atlanta. You got the clap, man. Shit. Wake up and 2000 People magazine named Matheson as one among America's 100 most eligible bachelors. See, everyone knows he's a dreamboat. Besides acting and modeling, Cameron is an amazing dancer, and he even participated in season five of Dancing with the Stars. Cameron has been a part of many hit TV shows such as Castle, The Exes, and Desperate Housewives. I was at the hotel. I went there immediately after we wrapped here. And can anyone vouch for that? Come on, Vince. Tell us you were alone. It'll make arresting you that much easier. I didn't kill my wife. And also as a host on reality TV like Game of Homes. He made his Hallmark debut as Tim Pierce in the 2013 film A Christmas Ornament. Is he the kid who's memorized the Wikipedia Christmas tree page? Affirmative. <laughs> we should probably go rescue him. Deadline Hollywood reported in April 2021 that Matheson has joined the General Hospital cast as Drew Kane. In the episode's climactic scenes on August 16, 2021, he made his acting debut. You didn't think you were the only hostage, did you? Well, no, I don't feel special anymore. In At number eight, we have Kevin McGarry. He began his career in 06. His first ever TV role was in Open Hearts as Dr. Timothy Hudson. I need you. Tell me you're okay. I am. Yeah, I, I am now. Kevin is most popularly known for his role as Nathan Grant in the show, When Calls the Heart. Hey, Lucas. Yes. The cone. You got it. He has also appeared in famous shows such as Schitt's Creek, Heartland, and Saving Hope. A decade after breaking into the entertainment business, this heartthrob made his Hallmark debut in 2015's Signed, Sealed, Delivered from Paris with Love. She has no idea these ever existed. Please, don't deliver that to her. He appeared in three films for the network in 2019 with a the holiday theme, including Winter Castle and Christmas Scavenger Hunt. His charming smile has everyone hooked, and we cannot wait to see what he does next. You're welcome. Let me get you a bag. Nice birds. 
At number seven, we have the one and only Daniel Leesing. His first ever role was in an Australian TV series called Home and Away, where he played the role of a firefighter, David Elder. Is your own life so boring you have to mess with other people? Is that it? What? Say what you like to my face, but don't talk behind my back. Just chill out, okay? Chill out. Chill out, mate. Mate, you're not my mate. He joined the cast of the American drama Last Resort in 2012 as James King, a Navy SEAL and petty officer in the U.S. Scrapped Navy. It. You want to know what's the really great thing about a perfect halo jump? It's that by the time you rip your shoe, everything's gone. He later joined the cast of the film The Cure the same year, playing the part of Ryan Earl, a member of a research team who believes he deserves more glory and notoriety. He has also starred in an MTV thriller show alongside the star Victoria Justice. The show was called Eye Candy, and I think we can all agree that Daniel Leasing is truly a sight for sore eyes. He made his Hallmark debut in the show When Calls the Heart as the dreamy Jack Thornton and was around for 44 episodes. He also played the role of Seth Murphy in the Hallmark movie A December Bride in 2016. Oh, I'm sorry. Ayla, what a nice surprise running into you. Literally. Oh, I didn't realize you worked here. He then reprised his role as Jack Thornton in 2021, When Hope Calls, A Country Christmas. You tell her that true love never dies. I know that now more than ever. At number six, we have Sam Page. Sam Page is a total hottie and we know girls go crazy for him. Page was also included in People Magazine's list of the most eligible bachelors in 2002. He is popularly known for his role as Professor Colin, Serena's love interest in Gossip Girl. Well, if you change your mind, the King Cole Bar is the only place in town that still makes a red snapper. You look like you're about a size eight. Page was also a recurring character in the trending show, The Bold Type, where he played Richard Hunter. I've always believed in you. I'm sorry that it took me so long. Don't be. We're here now. Yeah, we are. He made his Hallmark debut in 2011 in the movie Annie Klaus is Coming to Town. You came into my store and you saved my life. I think I'm going to be very happy here. Since then, he has acted in 10 Hallmark movies and fans love him for more than just his looks. His recent movie Brazen came out in early 2022. Did you know about your sister's clients? What are you talking about? At number five, we have the infamous Jesse Metcalf. He is best known for playing John Rowland in the TV series Desperate Housewives. Wow, what a surprise. I was so busy back in the kitchen, I didn't even know you guys were here. How are you? Well, I'm usually better when I don't have cream spinach all over me. <laughs> Metcalf is now 43 and currently single. On Passions and in the movie, John Tucker Must Die, Metcalf had fans swooning all over him. In the TNT sequel to Dallas, which was based on the 1978 TV series of the same name, he played the role of Christopher Ewig. Metcalf played Trace Riley in the popular Hallmark Channel series Chesapeake Shores from 2016 until 2021. And let me tell you, Trace Riley is too hot to handle and he even sings. You know, for me, it's all about staying true to who I am. There's a million Mark Halls out there, but there's only one. Trace Riley? I was gonna say you. Yeah. At number four, we have the stud, Wes Brown. He is 40 years old and married to Amanda Moy Brown. Sigh. But nothing can take away from the fact that this guy is eye candy for sure. Brown has been a part of many hit TV series, such as Criminal Minds, 90210, and Once Upon a Time. I tried to do what is right, but that book is wrong. Being a hero is not about compassion and having forgiveness. It's about strength. He made his Hallmark debut in 2011 in the movie Love Begins alongside Julie Mond. You know, I never intended on being here. If I could have repaid that debt, I would have. Your point is? As long as I'm here, I'm going to be civil to you. All I ask is you do the same in return. He has starred in a total of nine Hallmark movies, which include Love's Everlasting Courage and Christmas at Graceland. Me! Wait, Clay, where is everybody? Oh, it's just a little private tour set up. You're kidding. Guess Mr. Promise is delivered. That smile of his would make anyone weak in the knees, don't you think? At number three, we have Brant Daugherty. He played Brian in the NBC daytime drama Days of Our Lives in a reoccurring role in 2013. 
Doherty is most popularly known for his role as Noel Kahn in the hit freeform show Pretty Little Liars. Noel Kahn was a quarterback for the football team and was your stereotypically charming rich guy with a really nasty side who usually threw crazy parties. I think I know enough to get a better grade than this. What are you asking me to do, Noel? The 6'1 hunk has sparkling blue eyes and cheekbones that catch everyone's eye. He made his Hallmark debut in the 2018 film Mingle All the Way, alongside the Hallmark veteran Jen Lilly. Keeping the tradition helps me remember. I guess that's part of the reason I love the season so much. My family always made it feel so special. <laughs> it's really sweet. At number two, we have Eric Winter. His roles in 2014, The Comet, The Ugly Truth, and Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay are all very well known. It's like the Beatles, right? I mean, I liked them when I was five, but at a certain point, you just want something with a little more nuance, you know? The audience loved his role in The Good Doctor as Dr. Matt Coyle. He's hot and a doctor. Brownie points. You're gonna report me. I'm not gonna report anybody. But maybe next time, try not to have such a stick up your ass about being asked out. The talented Eric Winter began his career as a model, appearing in high-profile commercials for brands like Tommy Hilfiger and co-starring with Britney Spears in the commercial for her fragrance, Curious. He then made the switch to acting and has appeared in both tragic and humorous parts in movies and on TV. His first Hallmark movie was back in the 2004 film Back When We Were Grown Ups. Since then, he has starred in films such as Finding Santa and Taste of Summer. Which is better, your dishes or the crowd I managed to pull together for your little shindig? The star has everyone obsessed with him, and it isn't only for his looks. Finally, at number one, we have none other than Tyler Hines. He made appearances on the TV programs such as Saving Hope. What is that? See, what is it? that's what I'm talking about. You don't actually think that I can change. No, so now this is my fault? No, it's not your fault. But you can cut me some slack. The Firm, based on the John Grissom novel and Unreal on Lifetime. Here's the truth. I grab his little nub, didn't like it, I hacked it off. Okay? He appeared in the Crave television series Letter Kenny and as Sergeant Reese in the World War II action film Recon. Something's coming. Get ready! He has been a Hallmark staple since his debut in 2018 and has been a part of 10 Hallmark seasonal movies. It's Christmas Eve was his first movie ever where he played Liam. Eve. And you are? Abby's father. The teacher. Yeah, and you're Nella's daughter, right? Yeah. Since then, he has also been in The Mistletoe Secret, On the Twelfth Date of Christmas, and many more movies we all love. What? I'm doing it? They don't have trees in Iowa? Well, sure, but... Where I come from, if you don't cut down your own tree, you get a good old-fashioned Illinois shaming. Every year, fans wait eagerly in front of their screens to see their favorite heartthrob in a magical Christmas movie, and we honestly can't blame them. And that is all we have for today, guys. Who do you think is the hottest of them all? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to show some love to our channel by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.